Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how you can easily program a trading strategy. Now I'm going to use this language here which is power language which is what Multicharts uses. Multicharts is the trading platform that I use and those of you who may not have heard of it you may have heard of TradeStation. So Multicharts is very similar to TradeStation and it uses a very similar programming language too. Now there's some massive benefits to being able to program strategies and use software like TradeStation or Multicharts. There's others too, NinjaTrader, AmiBroker. So the benefits are, once you've programmed the strategy, I mean this has taken me 5-10 minutes to program. That's all, that's all the code there is to go into this simple strategy. Once you've got the program, then you can do run back tests and see how the strategy performed in the past. You can run it off run it over multiple markets really, really quickly. You know, within, literally within seconds, the computer will give you detailed reports and that will give you an idea of whether the strategy is then worth trading in real life. But once you've actually got the strategy that's, that's worth trading and this one is a good strategy, I want to show you at the end where you can pick up this strategy, but once you've got that strategy that you want to trade, you can then do another thing and you can automate the trading so you can create some people call them trading robots, I call them just trading algorithms. It's literally the case of switching on the software to take the trades for you. So the software monitors the prices and then when you get the signals to trade, it'll then send orders to your broker and do it all for you. So it's a very hands-off approach once you've done the programming. Now, I realise this looks like a load of scribble. I could have done it on the screen, but I thought I'd be a bit better if I stood here and walked you through each section of the program piece by piece. Unfortunately these green parts which are actually just comments they're relevant to how the code works I know you can't see them particularly well in this lighting unfortunately. I've tried to keep the colours similar to what it is in the uh, the coding editor within Multicharts 2. So first of all let's talk about the actual strategy we're looking to trade. Now, this is a strategy that works well on dollar yen, forex pair, and we're working off of daily charts, but it's a kind of a day trading strategy because the trades last less than 24 hours. So, I've done a, a quick demo here of what the strategy, how the strategy works. Now, these are daily bars, like I say, and this strategy, I call it a kangaroo tail breakout. We're looking for like a kangaroo tail setup. Now that setup is formed of three bars. Um, so one, two, three. Ignore the fourth bar, that's the one we're trading on. So look at these daily bars and a kangaroo tail for a, a long or a buy setup happens when you get this centre bar here that's got a low that's lower than the bar next to it on the left and the right. And that's the setup. Once we see those three bars with that tail or that low lower than the other two bars, then that's our signal to put in our orders to trade for the next day. And it also sells short as well, so it's a buy and a short strategy. The short signals are just quite the opposite. So this centre bar has to have a higher high than the bars to the left and to the right of it. So we look for, once we've got this set up, this lower low than that, that one and that one, we want to place a buy order at the high of this third bar. Okay, Stop loss is at the low of that bar and this will become clearer when I walk through the code. Once we're in the trade, if we get stopped into the trade the following day on this bar, the exit is a simple time-based exit. Well, we're either going to get stopped out or we're going to exit at the end of the session. So right near where the session ends, we're dealing with Forex, it's going to be around about 1700 Eastern Standard Time, then we just exit the uh, strategy with a market order. Okay, so that's the basic strategy that we're looking to program. So, first of all, I mentioned that these green comments, if you can see, are literally that they're comments or notes and they're things that you can write in the editor with these slashes, these two slashes, then what the program, the computer won't look at that and try and you know write, uh, read the program from that. It kind of ignores them, but it's a good way of noting each part of the strategy. So the first part 
is we're looking at a long setup for the kangaroo tail. So we want to see this sort of three bar setup. That's our setup, okay? So I've given these conditions just names or numbers, so one and two. So condition one equals the low S2 is less than the low S1. Now, what that means is low is the lowest price. S means the low of the session. It could be the, day, the daily bar or the session. Um, I don't need to go into that now, but the session takes into account that whole bar. Now, you've got these numbers here, two and one. What that means is, so when this code is actively looking, we're working on this bar here, this fourth bar. And what we're saying is, the low S2, which is two bars back, so I've just put a little number there, so this one here, so that low is less than the low S1, which is this bar here. So that low has to be less than that low, okay? That's our condition one. Condition two, low S2 has to be lower than low S3, so that low has to be less than that low. That's simple, really easy, okay? That's for the buy setup or the long setup. Short setup, kangaroo tail, condition three and four. Um, it's, it's the opposite. So the high S2, so the high of this bar here, has to be greater than the high of bar three and bar one. I haven't showed it in the diagram, but you get the idea, okay? Let's start with, this is the main entry orders. So, first of all, I've put a note here, do not enter a trade at the end or towards the end of the session. So what I'm saying is we only want to trade, so if the time is greater than 1700, which is so just as the session starts, or the time is less than 1650, it's 10 minutes from the end of the session, then begin. So now we can actually start to our code. So we're not gonna be taking a trade between 1650 and 1700. There's no chance of us getting in a trade uh, at that the end of the session, okay? So, now we can start this section of the code. Now, buy order. If the condition one and condition two is true, so if that's true and that's true, so if we've got this set up, then buy next bar at high S1 stop. That means we want to place a buy stop order at the high S1, so this is bar one, this is S1, and the high is here. So we want to get in if the price goes above that high. Okay. Uh, the stop loss, sell next bar at the low S1 stop. Uh, so the low of S1 is here. That's where we're gonna get out of the market. Uh, and that's the simple entry for the buy order. Sell short order is just the opposite. We're looking for conditions three and four to be true and then sell short, next bar, at the lowest one, stop. And I've just realized that I haven't actually copied onto the board the stop loss for the short entry. So let me quickly do that now. Apologize about that. So it's gonna be the opposite of this here. So sell next bar at lowest one, stop. So it's going to be Buy to cover, next bar at high S1 stop, semicolon. And I scrubbed out the little end of the statement, so I can just put that here, semicolon. So, and what that end means is, you remember, we're only looking to trade if the time's greater than 1700 or less than 1650. All of those things are done within that time, and then we're saying end. So that's the end of that block statement, okay? Now, next thing is the exit for, or the timed exit. So exit at the end of the day or the session. Quite simple, if time equals 1650, that could be 1645, it could be 1655. I tend to like to get out 
if I'm looking to go to the end of the session, I like to get out 10 minutes before the end. So if time equals 16.50, then begin. So like this, we've got this next block. Sell, next bar at market. So if we're long, we just get out the trade, buy to cover, next bar at market. If we're short, just get out the trade and then our little end. Now, something to note here, quite interesting. Uh, we got these, so for long setups, to get in, we use buy, okay? To get out of, if we're long, if we bought, then to exit, we use sell. If we want to short, go short, um, we don't use sell, we use sell short. Because, so sell short and buy are both entry orders. Exit orders are different. If you're exiting long or exiting a buy, we use sell. If we're exiting a sell short, then we use buy to cover. Okay, so multi charts is clever. So down here, you might think, uh, so why are these not entering trades? It's because these are exit orders. So you can't enter the market on a sell or buy to cover order. So I hope you didn't find that too complicated. Just a quick run through of how to create a simple program in multi charts. Now if you're actually interested in this strategy you don't have to have multi charts you can quite easily look for this setup uh, and trade it manually. Uh, I did a previous video about this particular strategy and I'll link that below where you can actually download a set of PDF rules Importantly, I've included an enhancement to the strategy. So I've included some extra conditions or extra filters that actually double the profitability of the strategy and works really, really well on dollar yen. Now, links for that down below. So what did you think? Is it as difficult and scary as you might think? Or is it quite straightforward? Please leave a comment or ask any questions down below. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Being able to program a simple strategy like this is really invaluable for a system trader or somebody who uses mechanical rules to make money trading. I don't actually have a programming background. I've just kind of learned on the job. Typically, if I need to find out how to do something, I'll research it, try it, test it, make sure it works. And you, you can really go through things step by step, getting it to work. I'm lucky, I use multi-charts. It is a premium software, it's a paid software, but it's far, far better, far more capable than the likes of the free softwares like MetaTrader 4, for example. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like I say, any questions, leave them below. You can email me, jared at thetransparenttrader.com or go to my website where you're gonna get more strategy ideas, programming, testing, until then, I'll see you on the next video, and thank you.